What's up guys, this is Tech Ann, uh, and you clicked on this video because you're wondering how you can get a smaller cursor. Like, you must be like, oh, oh my god, this cursor is way too big. Look how big this cursor, it's like, it's like the size of a mouse in real life. Like, what? So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to get like MS Paint, anything, anything of your choice. And you're going to have like a normal cursor. You're going to get a photo of a cursor, okay? Just search up like Windows cursor or something. And what you're going to do is you're going to minimize it to where you think it's good. I think I like a cursor that's this small. And also your canvas size depends on it too. So if you have a small, a large canvas size and a small icon, it's going to be not very good. A little bit bigger. I don't think that's good enough. All right, here you go. So what you're gonna do now is you're going to save as, and what you're gonna do from here is you're going to type in anything. Just say like cursor or something. All right. And once you do that, you can close this down. You don't need it. Now you have your cursor file. It's in PNG though, so that can be a problem. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to any website or any converter that can convert PNG to cursor file. I just chose this website because why not? Okay, and basically I'm just gonna find it. Cursor right here. And now we're gonna click cursor. Please wait. And it's gonna be converting, I guess. Download it. So now you have cursor. You can close this down now. So now you have the cursor file. You don't need this PNG anymore. You just have the cursor right here. So after you do that, you're going to open up your settings and find mouse. And then after that, you're going to find additional mouse options. And find pointers. Uh, set it to anything you'd like, anything that you need. Click, like, none. I'm just going to keep it at this because I like this style. I'm going to browse, and then you're going to find the cursor that you want. And then after that, you click apply. And there you go. You have your cursor. It's very good. Um, basically, that's how you do it. So now you have a small cursor, and it won't be an annoyance to you. It definitely won't be an annoyance to me now. Um, so yeah. Now you can do whatever you want. I can. You can have very good accuracy when you click on your desktop. It's very good. And yeah, and also, if you ever want to do more and more, just like... Just open up paint.net again, or whatever paint thing you need. I'm just going to do then a question mark, because that's one of them. I'm going to do this one, the help select. The thing I was trying to do, convert it. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Just convert, you know. Get the file, convert it. Convert the file and then convert it. And then once it's converted, you're going to get the converted file and download the converted file. So you're going to close it and then you're going to get the converted file. Right here, the converted file. You can delete the other unconverted file. And you'll have this converted file. So you click browse and find the converted file. Um, set icon instead of cursor well thanks guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed dang okay see you guys later bye